Do you use Zoom to record your calls? Do you create a podcast that is powered by Zoom? Are you looking for great audio quality? Do you want to make everything top notch on your online web meetings? If the answer is yes to any of those questions, you'll want to keep watching now because I'm going to hop into, well, probably the most popular piece of online conferencing software uh, for the web. It's just insane. So easy to use. And well, mainly it's based around faces appearing. But of course, we really like things to sound good, particularly if we're recording a podcast or if we're doing some kind of training that means the audio quality needs to be top notch. So let me take you into Zoom for a couple of minutes and show you a few of the settings and how you can optimize this software to get the best quality audio. And then after that, maybe we'll have a chat to Isabella, who's standing by and drinking cups of tea, and we'll find out how she uses Zoom and any tips she may have. So first of all, before you even create a new meeting when you're in the Zoom app, usually you'll have this opportunity here in the top right to click the cog and go into the settings. And you see there are all kinds of different settings that you can choose, um, but mainly you'll want to focus on the audio second settings, which are the second uh, settings down on the screen. OK, so audio settings are exactly where you want to go. This is just mainly the general stuff is just how a meeting gets started and all that kind of stuff. You've got video settings as well uh, and all kinds of other stuff. Maybe recording is relevant, so we'll take a look in there as well. But click into the audio. It's the one with the headphone icon next to it. Now, first of all, you will see a bunch of different settings. I have got them all set up optimally because I do a lot of training as it happens on Zoom uh, with universities, educational establishments around the world. And their preferred method usually is to use a Zoom call. And usually it's over multiple days and they're long calls. So I want to get this absolutely tip top. So the first thing I, I do is I set up the speaker and this is pretty straightforward. This will usually be your audio interface or your sound device that you're using to play audio so you can hear it. OK, it's best to have the speaker and the microphone this, uh, part of the same audio interface. It gets confusing, for instance, if you choose something different for the speaker and the microphone, you can have latency echo and that's a problem. So for me right here in this example, I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. It's a really good solid audio interface. I recommend it. And you can see it's selected there. I could choose something else. I've got loads of stuff here. I've got Rhodes. I've got LG, all of that. But if I start doing that, it's going to mess things up. Output volume, have that nice and loud. Uh, if you find that the audio is too loud coming at you from Zoom and distorting, just turn this volume control down. It's as simple as that. And you can, of course, click test speaker and this should play a little ringtone sound. OK, if that plays a ringtone sound. You will know that there is something uh, there and you're able to hear it. OK, you can use a separate audio device to play the ringtone simultaneously as well. This will give you the opportunity uh, to choose a different audio device. So I can choose my Rode. I'm not sure if you could hear that ringtone um, because I have this fed directly to my headphones, so it might not come out uh, in this video. But maybe you could hear it there. So that's just an extra option just to test the ringer. That's all. Uh, and when you get incoming calls, it will come over the other audio device you select. So far, not too many optimizations here. Just making sure we've got things set up. We've got microphones. We can, of course, do a test. Uh, again, this is plugged into the Scarlett 2i2. Volume is in the middle. Now, automatically adjust microphone volume is usually selected by default in Zoom. I highly recommend that you untick that. I can't stress that enough. In Zoom, under your microphone, automatically adjust microphone volume. I highly recommend you untick that. Why is that? Because if you have it ticked, what Zoom is going to do all the way through your call is try and turn your volume up and down depending on how loud and quiet you are. And if you're like leaning away from the mic or something or playing a soft piece of audio, it's going to turn you right up. And then if you start shouting or whatever, it's going to turn you down and it's just not optimal. And that's not how things generally work in audio. We don't turn up and down when things get quiet and loud. It sounds very unnatural. So untick, automatically adjust microphone volume. This one here, untick it. Set it yourself. Look at the level meter. Look at that. When I'm talking, you can see the blue line gets to about three quarters of the way up. That's enough. No more than that. And don't make it too quiet. So if it's like going to a quarter or around a half, you're too quiet. So set the volume yourself. You can test. This is a quick test to make sure it's working. Hopefully it's working. Let's find out. OK, 
Okay, I just put my headphones up to the mic because I don't know if you're getting the direct feed of my mic. We but are. You can be guaranteed uh, that it played me back and everything's perfect. So that is good. So we've got our audio interfaces set up now. We're all good, but it doesn't stop there. We're just getting started because, of course, Zoom audio is going to sound rubbish unless you follow the rest of my steps. First of all, suppressed background noise. Usually this is set to auto, uh, letting Zoom decide what to do depending on what your environment sounds like. I cannot stress this enough. Switch it to low. Switch it to the lowest possible. Do not leave it on auto. Do not put medium. Do not put high. Set it to low. Now, I wish, <laughs> as a, dare I say as an audio pro, I wish Zoom actually had an option that said, switch this option off. Yeah? As, as an audio professional, I haven't got noise on my line. I can't hear any hiss or any problems on my mic. So, as someone who knows a little bit about audio, I'd love the opportunity, Zoom, if you're listening, to have an off setting under here. But in lieu of an off setting, click low. Then we get onto the really good stuff. This is music and professional audio. This is, this is where I live in this app. Uh, so show in meeting option to enable original sound. You want to have this ticked. And what it's going to do, I'm not going to start a Zoom meeting now, but I'm going to describe it to you. Whenever you start a meeting, you'll get a green icon at the top left that says original sound. Whenever you start a meeting, you'll need to click original sound. And what you'll do is you'll stop that uh, over internet, compressed, horrible, low bit rate audio, and you'll get pretty much studio quality sound. So that's the most important thing you can do to get an upgraded sound. You will need a good internet connection, by the way, but most internet connections now can handle really good quality sound. So show in meeting option to enable original sound. And when you're in a meeting, at the top left, you'll get a green button. Click that to enable original sound. And then enable these three options when original sound is on. High fidelity music mode. You want to tick this, obviously, because it will give you the highest bit rate on your audio and a really good quality. Echo cancellation. You want to untick that. You don't want to have echo cancellation ticked. And the reason for this is if you do, it's going to do more noise suppression and it's going to interfere and mess about with your audio. And hopefully you've already got it sounding how you want. So don't let Zoom play with it. Untick it. And stereo audio, again, Zoom by default as it's a conferencing piece of software. It works in mono. Uh, generally, it's mono. But for us audio pros who are here to learn good stuff, uh, we want stereo audio. And it's very important if you're teaching audio or music production or anything like that. So tick that. Then you've got ringtones. Don't worry about that. It's just ringtone when a call comes in. Automatically join audio by computer when joining a meeting. Tick it. Otherwise, you get this prompt as you join a meeting and you have to click a button and it's just fiddly. So tick that. Mute my microphone when joining a meeting. I have that unticked because usually I'm the host of a meeting. Uh, so I would untick that so I'm on the moment I join a meeting and I don't talk all muted and people say, you're on mute. So I have that unticked, but personal preference. Press and hold space to temporarily unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, I have that. That's a good shortcut. And sync buttons on headset. Uh, so if you have a headset plugged into Zoom, it'll sync what you do on your headset as well. Uh, there's also advanced here. Ooh. Uh, so we got signal processing by Windows Audio Device Drivers. I have that off. I don't want Windows messing with my audio. And uh, echo cancellation, again, auto in the advanced mode. Again, I wish there was an off. Definitely don't have aggressive selected. And that, Isabella, is how you set up Zoom for premium quality audio. Anything you want to add or is that it? I do. There are a couple of things that I think are important to say. So first of all, Zoom is not the optimum uh, place to record your no. high quality audio and video content. There is better out there, yes. It is designed as a call handling place where you can meet with people. It's not really. Its purpose has never been to record high quality audio and video. If you are looking for high quality recordings, then our recommended uh, place would be something like Riverside.fm. They they do uh, record high quality audio and video and what they do is they record it at source which means that the audio and video is recorded at the local place of your guest rather yeah. than at, on your end so if there are internet disruptions you won't get Riverside. those annoying you know dips in the quality throughout or you know the the voice cutting out you know and things like that indeed you will get high quality audio it does give you option to uh, get the audio as separate tracks for each guest this is very important because your audio producer can then apply individual settings to the audio environment you or your guests are at they can also take out little pieces of 
audio where you know maybe somebody coughs in the background and you are just saying something so important uh, that you know the cough is just muting that so just make sure to use the tool that's appropriate for the purpose and dare i say in the future we can all be using adobe's project shasta they'll probably be renamed by the time it's public uh public kind of software uh in in the web browser but i think actually what we're also learning is web browser recordings are the way it's going so you'll just be logging into a web page sharing that url with your guest your guests will be signing in the artificial intelligence will tell you whether you sound good or not and give you tips to improve and away you go. So technology is really improving, but Zoom is still mighty popular. It is mighty popular. If you have to use Zoom, that's fine. You know, there are ways to make it sound better. Couple of things that you can tell your guest. First of all, make sure they wear headphones. Make sure you wear yeah, headphones tip, too. This is absolutely essential as it will uh, stop the feedback loop of audio going back in and distorting your audio and making it absolutely horrendous. Uh, make sure you get as good of a microphone as you can. And if you are using Using you Zoom to record your guest, consider recording your own audio outside of Zoom because you will get a better quality that way as Zoom will process it and make it sound kind of call like and you can record your audio at source at a far better quality. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music radio creative.